What's up Shady Crew, back at it again with another reaction video and it's your boy Hiatus James back with another one man. Um, so we're continuing with this diss track man. So this is the last diss track from Grizzy Hendrix, R.I.P. Screwface. Um, so up to this point man, um, if you were on Twitter you already know what time it was. Grizzy had had enough bro. Like Grizzy was spazzing out and he was like you know what? I'm about to drop the nail in the coffin. I'm about to body this dude. So that's how we ended up here with an 11 minute video that is probably riddled and laden with bars, man. But we're gonna check it out. Um, hopefully it's dope. Of course, you know, we won't know if it is or if it isn't. But what we will know is that it's gonna be punchline after punchline. Um, he definitely gonna come out swinging in this one. We know that for a fact. So. Um, if you're new to the channel, please wait to the end of the video. That's typically when I give my reaction. However, however, <laughs> it is grizzy. So we're probably going to have to stop this um, once, twice, three, four, seven, twenty times. I don't know, man. We'll have to see. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So let's get it. Nah. You done fucked up. You done fucked up. I see what I'm saying. No, I. I don't know what I'm saying. You know, I fucked up now. You know that now. I waited a whole week, niggas. Where screw at? I feel that ball so much more now. Screw you all cap. I don't fit in this new era. You hang on with these raps. I'm more chucky with it. Killing shit. This child's place for sex. Damn. Right out the gate. This man said... Look, I'm not built for this era, bruh. Like, you're Hey Arnold with the raps. I'm more like Chucky. This child's play, like, damn, Grizzy. That's how we gonna rock. That, that's how we're going into this. No lube. We're going straight in. I see you. It's cool, man. I'm, we're here for the bars, man. Sheesh. This gonna be a long ride, man. Let's go. Now, screw you all cap. I don't fit in this new era. You hang on with these raps. I'm more chucky with it, killing shit. This child's place for sex. You war with your dad. You too worried about the cash. You worry about not getting sat. Cause I'm blitzing on your ass. So dear screw, don't be sad. You like the black version of Vlad. When I be blogging, they be watching, cause I'm always speaking facts. When you be blogging, they be watching like not another ad. When you no. Bro, <laughs> yo, did this, oh man, he just flipped the Vlad track, bro, I'm talking about he's like the black Vla Vlad, but the difference is like when he's on, on Vlad, they're listening to the track, when they listen to Screw, it's more like ads, bro, he literally put an ad in there. <sighs> this gonna be tough, man, this is gonna be tough, 11 minutes of this? He, he is definitely about to catch him a body bag, bruh. Let's go. Version of black. When I be blocking, they be watching because I'm always speaking facts. When you be blocking, they be watching like not another ad. When you're feeling sick, do you know what to do next? Follow me to find Damn. out. Damn. that's the difference between us. You just trying to get cheese, bruh. But go and do your thing. I'll let you rock like Dame Dash. Till I feel you getting comfortable. Now give me that chain back. How you nice going on church? Bar. And you think because of that. I'm supposed to respect your craft. Which is why I had to laugh. That's kind of sad. You got a buzz in that. You turning in a dex. This is facts. Peeping stats. I can tell it's all a act. You could probably win an Oscar. Because to me your shit is trash. You trying to clash with a titan. But your shit is no Damn. match. Still you think you want smoke I'm like your nicotine patch You get no pass from that last battle Boy that shit was ass Prince pants, pimp hand You gon' catch this backhand Full of baby powder Why your man Mufu so gas and shit? I love how you react But there'll be bars you won't catch Compared to screw surface level shit My shit's pure Damn. crack I'm on Don Perignon He's like baby Similac But I guess I can't complain if y'all Bruh niggas... I told y'all man Y'all man these are ego bars That he's dropping right Right now man he said he's like Don Perignon and, and screws bars and more like baby Similac oh my gosh bruh y'all know how that man feel about his bar game bruh <laughs> yo Grizzly ain't holding shit back bruh he is giving him the raw end of the deal bruh 
We here for them bars though. Let's get it. The baby powder. Why your man Mufu so gas and shack? I love how you react, but there'll be bars you won't catch compared to screw surface level shit. My shit's pure crack. I'm on Don Perignon. He's like baby Similac, but I guess I can't complain if y'all niggas into that. Cause some niggas like Kobe and other scratch that. I'm like a lottery pick cause you can bet your life on that. I got some punches for your head. I'm like dopes versus math so you can add but can't subtract the fact or talents what you lack. This shit comes to me to Happy. You force it in your rap. See, we gon' have this little class screw. Please sit back and don't raise one hand until some questions get asked. Like, why your flow still shaky? But you say you study shady. But you sound like Ja Rule on tracks. It's awful when you rap. Your voice is unpleasant to the ears, like hearing folks scratch against fine china like Tiger's baby mama scraps. This is loaded lux on Bruh, smack. He literally flipped the Ja Rule. Uh, that up church drop, but he did it more disrespectful, saying that you say that you're more like Eminem, but you sound like Ja Rule on the track with that sketchy voice, bruh. And he put the it's Merc, bruh. All I gotta say is, bruh, if y'all was like really enemies, bruh, I'm telling you, this shit would be way worse. This is this is light work for Grizzy right now, bruh. Let's get it. You force it in your rap. See, we gon' have this little class screw. Please sit back and don't raise one hand until some questions get asked. Like, why your flow still shaky? But you say you study shady. But you sound like Ja Rule on tracks. It's awful when you rap. Your voice is unpleasant to the ears, like hearing folk scratch against fine china, like Tiger's baby mama scraps. This is loaded lux on smack. Literally, when I black, I can't get jiggy with your shit. You might go blacks and all wax. I chalk this up the border why even. Jeez, bro, that is not cool. This man said he's Michael Blackston on wax? That is disrespectful, bro. That is disrespectful. Even for me, that is disrespectful, bro. What the? So he a clown. He's a, he's a jokester and a comedian on the track. Grizzy. Grizzy, man. You said you was gonna body him. And you damn sure putting every effort in to do so. Let's get it. But you sound like Ja Rule on tracks. It's awful when you rap. Your voice is unpleasant to the ears, like hearing folk scratch against fine china, like Tiger's baby mama scraps. This is loaded lux on smack. Literally, when I black, I can't get jiggy with your shit. You might go blacks and all wax. I chalk this up the border. Why even chose this task? Cause this gon' be my breakout year. So yeah, I might be rash. So I gotta show the people who is better, and that's that. So don't get mad and don't do no more reviews. P.S. We should rap together. I hope to see you soon. I told y'all he was gonna switch it up, bro. Oh shit! He done went to the shady track. Oh shit! It just got real. Nigga screw turned into a Scrooge He's always ducking and shucking and looking for views He must got nothing to do with obvious dude It's like the lyrics you spew be fused with a few Contradictory hypocrite leaving his clues Had it's obviously Daniel in a screw costume Cause there's no way he could <laughs> Did he just say that screw is Dax in a screw cost? Oh my god bro Bruh, he is coming for your neck. He is coming for your neck, bruh. Like, the whole neck. <laughs> bruh. Damn, he ain't leaving nothing to the imagination, bruh. You hate to see it. Let's get it. 
you a Scrooge He's always ducking and shucking and looking for views He must got nothing to do with obvious dude It's like the lyrics you spew be fused with a few Contradictory hypocrite leaving us clues Had it's obviously Daniel in a screw costume Cause there's no way he could possibly be fooling us two Times two, I foreseen all of your moves I play chess, you play check and check the record you fool I'm like a reincarnated Eminem on Pro Tools I've been a pro since my teens, that's why I'm muscling you And you just scrambling and panicking Can't understand how a man in a mass in a country singer murdered your ass So you just sit back and try to hit back with this track So much this thing for this man and this Belief he's insane, can't believe his own brain I know y'all hit a flow change So we tried to use the race card and came in last place I ain't wanna have to do it till you put you ass Man, how we post the sprint back in this lyrical war game When his punchlines is about as basic as his name Wait, only screw we respect was known as a DJ And you don't break a scrap Bro, let me say this, man Screw, we're not even through this entire track But there is absolutely nothing that Screw can say and or do that would salvage this like there there is literally nothing unless he knows some some shit shit about Grizzy that nobody knows like the nigga got an illegitimate child out there or the nigga got a freaking drug trafficking ring or some shit like there is nothing screw can do this man literally just said mm, mm, mm. this man said the only screw we res we respect is DJ Screw. So stay in your place. Bruh, he hmm. That's a clap back to when Screw said in in his track about the clout chasing and how put in his name. He's like, nigga, hold up. You're not that important. The only person that would get views like that is DJ Screw. Like, he is literally Bruh, this shit is crazy, bruh. He catching the whole body in this. I, I mean, y'all may feel differently. I, I don't know why you would. You're hearing the same stuff that I'm hearing. He catching a whole body. Let's get it. Watch this thing for this man and disbelief he's insane can't believe his own brain I know y'all had a flow change so we tried to use the race card and came in last place I ain't wanna have to do it till you put you ass man how we post the sprint back in this lyrical war game when his punchlines is about as basic as his name wait only screw we respect was known as a DJ and you don't break a scratch record so stay in your place Hermit or Kermit the frog you tried to hop in the rain and got knocked out out box like a homeless space he was all up in my DM swear to god you should've Seen him, man. You could have just said my name, ain't have to be a meanie. You like Lil Nas X, you better go and eat your Wheaties. Not I'm like Lil Nas, Nas a Lil X, that's why you can't defeat me. Kunta Kente rapping, I'm going for a three peat. Got him copping and pleading. The sheriff is heated, and I'm just secretly I'm sorry, scheming. Bro, the Lil Nas X line was perfectly executed. You were in my DMs talking about why you gotta be a meanie. Bruh, you hate to see this shit, bruh, but I enjoy the bars. That was tough. That was tough. <sighs> Let's get it. Face. He was all up in my DM, swear to God you should have seen him Man, you could have just said my name, ain't have to be a meanie You like Lil Nas X, you better go and eat your Wheaties I'm like a Lil Nas, a little X, that's why you can't defeat me Kunta Kente rapping, I'm going Oh, wait, three I missed people. that He said, I'm like a little Nas a uh, little X, like X, X, X to, t bruh. Body season, cause he catching one in this one, bruh. Let's go. Copping and pleading, the sheriff is heated, and I'm just secretly scheming to lead him to me and defeat him while people try to put together his pieces. Slicing through this beat like I just ate me some pizza. I'm shitting on you, I ain't even Ooh. feed you the feces. You try to go it up, church, and try to target the sheep, but now you in a marsh pit with the mark of the beast. Killer and bar. now I'm about to shit on you and treat you like toilet seats. I've been killing all my beats while you just get attempted murder. Speaking of murder with this sink, I might just go and earth you, destroy your empire. Now you lose your flipping Damn. murder. Damn. Destroy your empire now your Lucius flipping burgers I'm only being real when I say nobody wants to hit and wax you up raps you must got me confused with Dex I don't know what the fuck you thinking in fact put the mic down and walk away still a little time for you to say your face Now hope after this y'all niggas know who the best motherfucking YouTube rapper alive is? It's me, God fucking. <laughs> it's 
these niggas can't fucking see me. <laughs> you I don't know what made these niggas you think. You was not lying, bro. bro. Like, I'm, I'm the best fucking shit. On YouTube. I just came to conquer your world. Then I'm gonna move on to the J. Coles, the Kendricks, the hey, fucking yeah, yeah. Lupe's, the fucking really? uh, who, who else? Wale, Ready, Rick Wale. Horses, fucking all those niggas. <laughs> oh, God. Seriously. Clip that. This nigga screw straight doo doo. I'm battling two dudes. Whoopi and Mufu. Buy his fans, but I'm too cool. Lupe, Suwu. It be like that, but you knew these nerds on YouTube. Yapping like yo shit cuckoo. Crazy with the flow, but I only gave you two ooze. Some fake gun bars, and you ain't never held a deuce deuce. Talking like you used to. When you held a tutu in ballerina school, he uses that to confuse you. Cause them lines ain't truthful. Plus, you lack substance. All them filler bars, boo boo. Now watch how this fool lose. Oh, didn't see the mass angle. Coming, who knew? Wow, real clever. Your fans are eat it up, chew through all them corny juggalo jokes. I heard you use. You trying to end a battle, and I ain't even rebuttal. All that lets me know is two things: you scared and I'm troubled. And your fans gonna still cheer for you, and they'll love you even if you lose to a juggalo that rocks a muscle. You started off humble, and now you trying to rumble. Got sacked and then fumble. Now he's trying to hit and run, yo. Y'all can't see through the lies. He tries to hide with the dumb jokes. He started off saying he respond, but feet got cold. Jermaine told you. Lame ho, I'm too sick, strepto Had to set it off on him, Cleo And get bold, cause if we left it up to him This battle Damn. wouldn't unfold He'd still be fucking Mufu in the asshole in the bathrobe so And there the it goes And there it goes Down goes Moonfu again Shit, bruh Moonfu at this point Is just cas casualty Bruh, like he's casual Casual wear, bruh Cause every time someone goes at Screw Monfu gets the brunt of 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 it all. Like they tear into his ass, bro. Them two, they always say that Screw and Monfu are fucking are doing some shit. Like, <coughs> damn, bro, that's tough. Now I ain't gonna lie because Monfu ride hard for Screw, like hard as shit. It don't even need rhyme or reason. The nigga just be Screw say, bro. We about to go and jump off this cliff, and then Monfu be like, "That's the that's gonna be the best cliff jump ever." Like the nigga rides hard for his for his dude. Like I ain't even gonna hold him on that. But damn, he definitely be catching blows in these diss tracks. Up Church hit him with one, and Grizzy just slapped him in the face with another one. Let's go. Let's me know it's two things. You scared and I'm troubled, and your fans gonna still cheer for you, and they'll love you even if you lose to a juggalo that rocks a muscle. You started off humble, and now you trying to rumble. Got sacked and then fumble. Now he's trying to hit and run. Yo, y'all can't see through the lies. He tries to hide with the dumb jokes. He started off saying he respond, but feet got cold. Jermaine told you lame ho. I'm too sick, strep though. Had to set it off on him, Cleo, and get bold. Cause if we left it up to him, this battle wouldn't unfold. He still be fucking Mufu in the ass, so in the Bathroom, so thank a real nigga for putting myself on the throne with no street team, no bias niggas to vouch for. Just me by myself with no cosign, I'm no hope. I don't take pictures with rappers and try to post those and act like I'm cool with tech nine, like y'all bro bros using that as promo. And damn, that's a low blow. But you talking about me though, when you the torpedo trying to blow up other niggas like your ass deep throat. But I guess that's how you make your profit, you and your man profit. Mm. You're a witness, I promise I won't knock it. I'm just bothered. You act like you honest, but you win it for your pocket You use battle rap as a ploy When really you ain't bout it Y'all just open your optics He was scared for me to drop this He's transparent as fuck He's Bruce ooh, Jenner ooh, Stop ooh. it Just watch him G this shit is shocking How I dropped him We are He called that man Bruce Jenner Damn On this sofa Okay <sighs> Say goodbye You hate to see it This is the four beat He was dealing and he has departed. Thus, that's why we call him the daily departed. In other words, the nigga dead. I'ma sit back and paint a picture. All you niggas gotta do is listen. YouTube is full of new spitters and reactors mm. making door for true spitting, which is cool with me. Just don't move shifty like screw to make me think you shitty. But when you choose to just abuse your views and start race baiting, you get real iffy. 
Are you trying to trick me into thinking if we divide the people, that shit's healthy? All that tells me is for some clicks that I'm saying, are you gon' try to derail me? But my train of thought is too wise to feel me. That whole battle with up church was silly. Color purple, I was like, really? When you tried to Damn. hit me, once again, he dissed me. I'm thinking, is he just trying to get me off his back because he know I'm 50 and he be job ruined and I'm missing? <laughs> listen, listen, it gets sickening. You use your platform, create division. You know different than Lord Jamal, Donald Trump, Tommy Lauren, even Hitler. Use your voice to make change, nigga. I had a talk with niggas, they said the same, nigga. I won't name names, but I blame niggas like you. Why we in the same condition? Stuck wishing we could see the vision, but instead we got blacks like you who milking. Hope for motions to kill our children, and I know your homie Crip can say you tripping, but dog, you tripping. Make a difference. You make us feel like we all indifferent. And dog, I've been there, I use my pigment and try to tell whites to mind their business. Really deep down, that shit's an illness, and it's gonna kill us. Not rebuild us, don't be rebellious. Chauncey Billups, I just get so pissed, and when I see a nigga Ooh, who just want attention on a wrong mission, thinking they uplifting like they in a gym, and you must need a spot, but not a pot to piss. And listen, I get called a Uncle Tom, a coon, a bootlegger, even by my own niggas. But still, I understand the linguistics from the Emmett Tills who got killed from Whistling. But your white fans won't grasp the point if you try to turn your black fans against them. And what's the point of going in on church if your demographics is way different? Country music, rap listeners, damn you ignorant, too malignant, all for the clout to monetize for riches. It's sad the fact I gotta kill my brother just to prove a point so our people get this. And this shit is fucking ridiculous. How the fuck could you rebuttal this shit? You can't, nigga. We all bear witness like yogis in the courtroom snitching. We all got responsibilities and niches. Y'all probably think this is a diss, but this is to fix this distance. You be pimping from white to black, and this is from a mixed kid. I'm disgusted by your brother's fitting. He would even come to church and say that dumb shit. Where's his sense? It's called church a cracker. But if he turned around and called you nigga, y'all get offended and try to spin it like he started lynching. That's how y'all mend it. I ain't team black, I ain't team white. I'm team must sit this team with me. You can't fool me looking for forgiveness. Black, white, white, black. All I'm hearing in his raps Tryna talk race, let's talk You could talk facts You was tryna use that as an angle Call backlash I don't ever wanna you can't hear that Racist around, fucking like bull me. crack Black, white, white, black All I'm hearing in his raps Listen, bro, Tryna at talk this point, race Screw is already buried, bro There is absolutely Absolutely Nothing that Screw can do in regards to this. He literally got one shot it out out of this disc. Like th like if Grizzy dropped this one first, it would have been over. Real shit. Um, but there's no reason to respond. There's no reason to even try. Like just take take the L and move on, bro. There's no reason. There is absolutely like at this point. If you guys notice. I'm not stopping as much at the end because so much shit has been set up to this point. This last track was literally him just airing uh, screw out about the race baiting and um, how he tried to uh, tried to play that card with Up Church, whether it was on the Roasting Review or whether it was on uh, the actual diss track, the original diss track, bruh. There's nothing you can say. We all watched it. We all saw it. Like, so you can't spin it to try to say that it it wasn't what it was. Like, we saw it. So it is what it is. Like, I don't know if you asked for this or not, bro, but you should have did like Dax and been like, nah, Grizz, you good. You good, bro. We good. Let's get it. Let's talk. You could talk facts. You was trying to use that as an angle. Call backlash. I don't ever want to hit that racist fucking bull crap. <sighs> Is that it? I think that's it. All right, that's it. All right, so man, um, yeah, man, let's get into this. So Grizzy, um. R.I.P. Screw was Jeff was definitely that he put the he put Screw to rest. Um, he talked about so much in this track. He had his punchlines that he laid up. He took his shot at Monfu. He took his shot at his brother. Um, the biggest thing that he said is about his brother calling um, Upchurch a cracker. 
and like all right if you say that and then he turns around and say and calls you a nigga like how you would switch up and feel some type of weight which is kind of one of those discussions that they had on roast and review like this man left nothing he left no stone unturned like he he aired screws ass out in this track and I don't care, like, bro, y'all may feel some type of way, but you got to look at this objectively, right? Um, sometimes it's, it's tough. You know, you win some battles, you lose some. And then some people are smart enough not to get into battles that they may not win. Um, shit, I mean, you should have known what you were getting into with Grizzy. Um, and we've said this before, uh, six seconds. That man is a lyricist. And if Grizzly respects six seconds, you already know what you were going to get, bro. You already know the level of, of bars that you were going to get. And he definitely aired your ass out in this track, bro. There is absolutely nothing you can say. Um, it's it's a done deal. Like, he he literally dropped a small EP on, on your head. Like, low-key. There was four different switches to this song. That's why it was 11 minutes. And each one of the tracks dealt with a different topic. So it was twofold in, in this track. Because for you guys that don't know, most of you should know that Crypt is doing a um, best YouTube rapper tournament. So this kind of was a ploy to, to both hit on, on the YouTube rap tournament that they're doing and a diss to you so he aired your ass out by showing people how dope his skills is and uh he succeeded on all levels bro like feel how you want to feel about it bro but you can't there's no way that you could say that screw won this this back and forth with uh grizzy at all it's not even close like um and and I want to say, I mentioned this, and um, Shaq also mentioned this. We mentioned about uh, Grizzy's penmanship because I seen it from the time when he paid homage to Eminem on that fan track. You saw the level of intensity on that track, bro. And it just shows all the more, bro. You stepped into a fucking lion's den. Like, this man said that you started a, a battle with up church and now you're in the mosh pit with the mark of the beast like he was not playing with your ass he called your bars hey arnold bars bro while he's chucky killing people on tracks including you like <laughs> bro you gotta respect the bars you gotta respect the bars and i definitely respect what he's doing in this track bro and it is what it is feel how you're gonna feel um losing is never easy but whenever you get into a battle somebody gotta lose and uh screw took the l in this one like it it's it goes without saying um and for anyone that had any questions about grizzy's skill those that took bets saying that screw was gonna body him you lost facts you lost he tried, it was a good fight, but he tried to exit prematurely and end up catching catching his ass in a, a fucking casket because he aired him out. And now it's to the point where he can't even respond. There's absolutely nothing he can say. Like he would literally have to become the cops to dig up some shit on Grizzy that we don't know in order for him to even level the playing field because this tirade for 11 minutes he aired your ass out on all levels. The race baiting, the upchurch battle, the clicks and views, the everything. I'm just saying, bro. We saw it for ourselves, bro. And uh, yeah, you hate to see it. But it was, he definitely ripped this. Salute to Grizzy. Salute to them bars, man. He did not let us down. In regards to his level of intensity, he he made a promise that he was going to get him up out of here in, in the next in the next track, and he did exactly what he said he was gonna do. So, um, you know, like I said, it, it's never easy, you know, because people want certain people to win, but just because you want it to happen doesn't necessarily mean that's yeah. So my uh, camera cut off, but um, yeah. So I mean, just because you want 
someone to win doesn't necessarily mean that that's exactly how it's gonna play out and we saw that in this uh, this track Grizzy went at his neck man he definitely put everything and laid everything out so um, that is the nail in the coffin man that is the finite that is the finale um, and let the chips fall where they may however anyone feels is your feelings but um, we saw it for ourselves man um, so that's my thoughts on it man you guys let me know what you thought about this this track um, now that we've seen everything out there bro and uh, we'll definitely hash it up in the comments but stay locked to this channel your videos coming up next make sure you smash that like subscribe if you're new and I will catch you guys in the next one until then shady crew stay shady out there